Hello fellow vapors and welcome to the Devil Vapor Vape Reviews. Time for another hardware review and today we are looking at the Watofo and Uncle Stars STNG MTL RDA. So this is a 22 millimeter in diameter single coil RDA. It is designed for mouth to lung vaping. Um, you can put whatever coil you wish in there, um, but yeah, it's designed for mouth to lung vaping because of the tiny, tiny airflow right there on the deck. Not that it's focusing very nicely, but yeah, it's available, I think, in six or eight different colors. I've got the stainless steel and the black version here today, but we are vaping on the stainless steel. I've got a 0.129 uh, basic coil build in there at the moment, just, you know, one that they include in there. Absolutely lovely. And we've got the airflow fully open. So let's take that for a quick two. And that is just at 14 watts. Very, very low indeed. But it's producing some lovely flavor. So what we're going to do in the review today is take this down to the table, have an unboxing, show you what you get inside the kit, put a lovely build on there. Then we're going to bring it up top and give my overall thoughts and opinions on it. So without further ado, I'm going to grab the box and I'll see you down at the table with the Watofo Sting RDA. So here is the box for the Watofo Sting RDA. Let's take a look at what's inside. So inside the box you get a user manual, a 0.8 ohm dual core fuse Clapton coil, a 1.2 ohm single strand coil, some cotton, a bag of spares which does include a spare drip tip which is different to the one included as well as a squonking pin, a screwdriver, an allen key as well as the Sting RDA in the centre there. So let's have a look at the Sting RDA in a little closer detail. So up the top here you have got a drip tip which is 510 sized at the bottom there, but it has the O-rings on the drip tip side. Uh, this is the smaller of the two, the larger of the other ones is in the spares package. Now you can see down the top there, that is where your coil will sit down in the middle. If we work our way down to the barrel, you've got STNG on there, which I presume is Sting, I'm pronouncing it Sting anyway. And then at the back there, you have got your air flow control. If we scroll around to the bottom, we've got Watofo, STNG, Uncle Stars, which is the reviewer that designed this, and your C bin logo, as well as your gold plated 510 positive pin. So let's whack this on a Dilly Gaff Atty stand. We'll unscrew it like so. Well, screw it on like so, not unscrew it. And we'll have a closer look at the inside of the top barrel section there. So what you can see, either side of there are two little locator pins. They locate onto two slots on here on the deck. So they go in between these two so you can control the airflow on there like so. And as you can see inside there is nicely domed which is renowned for producing some lovely flavor. Now if we whack that on there like so and I can show you the adjustment of the airflow. So there we go, get it around the right way first. So that is the airflow hole there then you can control that up and down like so on this side. It doesn't have one on the other side. The airflow hole is only located on one side there. But if we have a look at the deck, you've got two Phillips screws on there on the two posts. You've got your positive side this side and the negative side on the other. Two little holes. It kind of looks like a little pig's nose in the middle there, which is where your airflow will come through. And these contacts on either side the posts on either side are spring loaded they have little springs underneath there which do spring the post clamps up and down as you can see and it has that on both sides now with this you are able to do left-handed or right-handed calls because it does have two slots on either post you can if you do a right-handed call you can put them in the right side or whatever and the left-handed call is the left-hand side you aren't stuck to winding one way which is good because some people build one way and some people build the other way um, so yeah it gives you the option to do them on both sides if you do so wish so what we're going to do now is get up close and personal and whack a lovely build on this <laughs>
are back up top with the Sting RDA. We have got that uh, that 1.29 build in there, the single strand coil, this one here. We're going to do the other build as well in here. We're going to do review both the included coils in here. We've got it at 14 watts, airflow fully open. Let's take it for a two. Now, I'm not a mouth to lung vapor, and um, most of you know that, but the flavor on this is pretty damn nice. Um, I do prefer it with the airflow slightly closed down, around about half open, half closed. I'll try and get it in shot for you there. Um, but around about there is where I do like it on this RDA. Gives you a nice amount of restriction, and it does amplify the flavor that little bit more. Um, yeah, I'm really liking it. And at 14 watts, you know, the flavor on this is pretty damn blooming impressive. So what I'm going to do now is change over to the, uh, what's it called? This call, the dual core fused Clapton. I'm going to quickly build that up and we're going to do a bit of flavor action on that call there. So right, we are back up top with the dual core fused Clapton call coming out at 0.8 ohms according to them. I've got it at 0.24. I have spaced my call. Um, so that is probably why the resistance has changed and I've got it at 22 watts airflow fully open. So let's take it for a quick two. The flavor on that is blooming good. Really, really blooming good. I'm going to have to drip this back up. On this lower resistance coil, I am using normal e-liquid and not, um, what's it called, Nick salts because I will be buzzing off my absolute blooming titties. So juice that back up and we'll take it for another vape with the airflow a little bit more closed down so get it on the right side there we go and we will close it down to the same amount we had it on last time let's go 22 watts yet again the flavor is rather intense compared to that single strand coil which i do like and i do prefer the coil on this i may try a non-space build on this um Maybe another time, but you know, I'm liking this for the moment. Lovely. So let's go through what I think of this. Now, it, in terms of construction, it's really, really nicely made. I do like the way it's made. No sharp edges or anything like that. And flavor and clouds wise, it's producing some nice flavor and clouds. Now, a niggly point that I have got on this is the airflow. Sometimes when you are loosening the airflow up, so say if you've tightened it down to around about, you know, a quarter closed or something like that. So if you have got it like that and want to open it up to the bigger hole, so if you turn it like that, sometimes the top cap sticks and you end up untwisting it or de deturning it, whatever you want to call it, from the uh, the mod that it's on. Now, once you've got those O-rings lubed up very, very nice and spicy, it stops doing that for the majority of the time. But when they do dry up again, it starts doing it again and it is a little bit annoying. Another thing that I would change on this as well is the width of the clamps. Now, they've got those T-shaped clamps up the top here. Not that they're in focus, um, but I think they could come out a little bit further because this space build, I had to kind of like bend it in a little bit for it to fit. And I think those those little clamps, they could have come out, you know, another mill either side just to accommodate people who do want to put space builds in there. And for me, it was slightly annoying because I had to kind of contort the build in there. Whereas if the, the, the top of the T piece was a little bit further out to the rest of the deck, then it would have slid in there nicely and it would have clamped it down very, very nicely indeed. In terms of price as well, I think this is around about $34.99, $35 over on the Watofo website, which comes to probably around about the high 20 20 pound mark over here in the UK so that's not a too bad price at all I expect to see this around about 30 quid over here in the UK um, but I'm not quite sure yet I'm not sure if it's been released and I haven't searched to be honest with you but overall this RDA is pretty damn nice if you are into mouth to lunging and are looking for an RDA which is you know reasonably priced reasonably good quality well very good quality and um, you know it's made by the lovely people with Tofo this may be one for you. you. You never blooming know. And as you all know, I'm really not a mouth to lung vapor. And, you know, this has impressed me ever so slightly more than any other mouth to lung RDA or uh, tank on the market. And I am going to be using this 
for a new series I've got coming from the people at Vapemail where I'm testing out their Nixalt range. So this will be good for that because normal RDAs are going to get me buzzing off my absolute backside. So overall, a cracking little RDA, a few little niggly bits that I would like to change on there. Hopefully they may do a version 2 or something like that, I'm not quite sure. But overall, without the niggles and that, um, it's not too bad of an RDA and the price isn't too bad either. So I'd like to thank the lovely people at Watofo for sending this through for the purpose of review. I've been the Devil Vapor and you've been watching Devil Vapor's Vape Reviews.